jump over to our man Teddy Kegstad. Folks, Teddy writes an outstanding newsletter. Every Monday morning, he puts it out for his subscribers. He puts out updates throughout the week when warranted. The Tiger Forex Report, you can check it out under the newsletter tab on TFNN. You can subscribe. It's $97, folks. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And I'm telling you, even if you don't trade, trade currencies right now, the information that Teddy puts in there on a weekly basis, you see what's going on today, man. We talked to our man Kevin Hinks. What's the first thing he said? The dollar index, right? What's the dollar index doing? What's the euro doing? Um, huge moves in the dollar index impacting many of the uh, markets worldwide, let alone our markets, to say the least. Teddy Kegstad, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Boy, we got uh, quite a week going on, man. We got some OPEC news that's potentially going to break while I have you on the air. Where do you want to kick things off, Teddy? Um, well, I think the dollar index, since you're bringing that up, we should start with that. Obviously, Let's a lot of volatility. Um, we're, we're getting a little bit of a bounce today, and uh, I think we just hit it. We really hit support pretty hard, but we fell into our downside correction zone yesterday, and now we're starting to find some stability. And I think that's what it is. It's just a correction, especially with the uptick in oil coming now, too. Yeah, some of the moves have just been so large, man. And this goes for the market as well, but we're seeing it really in currencies, especially since the, mm -hmm. the beginning of the calendar year. The moves have been so large in one direction that you get pullbacks that do seem large. But in the context of the moves we've got, we got the dollar for, trading from 115 to 110. But we were just trading at 104 as recently as almost less than two months ago. Um, so mm -hmm. some pretty, pretty big moves there. Uh, in the dollar, we have the euro, Teddy. We can jump around, uh, sure. pushing 98, 99. I'm, let me pull it. I just had a typo. Um, we mm -hmm. just got back to parity a little bit. I got a trend line, man. The trend is lower prices, lower lows, lower highs. Uh, what do you? What, how does that translate to the euro? Obviously pulling back, mm -hmm. but but where are your projections here? As we just bumped up to parity again, and we're just under 99 right now on the euro. Right. Well, I think that the pullback that we had it was a corrective rally. I mean, the bonds and the 10-year they rallied. So what happened? The dollar sold off. You know. I mean, when you ha have such extremes bouncing back off of lows, you know. I mean, even look at the S and P's. Everyone's like. Oh, they got a nice rally and everyone's getting all bullish. It's like, okay, we're coming off of brand new monthly, weekly, and daily lows. It doesn't mean we put a bottom in yet, you know? Sure. So, you know, and it's the same thing as with the interest rates, you know? I mean, we they slammed so hard through support, you know, even after the Fed meeting that a correction, you know, we've spoke about this two weeks ago because we didn't speak last week with the storm, you know, about how a correction is due, you know, why wouldn't it? Because we don't have a Fed meeting until November. We know no matter what, a three quarter point hike is on the on the table for the next two meetings, you know? So, I mean, and I heard you talking about, you know, some of the, the, the whole jobless numbers, you know, with ADP, you know, and also as far as job openings, which it was funny because when I first heard you talk about that, I'm like, well, we have to talk about this employment number because, that's the crucial thing that you can see now is the availability of jobs is just crashing right now. Yeah. You know, so when you combine, remember, we, I talked about this a year ago, that all your economic numbers are going to start to really come into play with your bonds and your currencies. Well, we've had the CPI, the PPI and all these other inflation type of numbers that really have been guiding the trends. Unemployment, even through COVID and whatever, has been pretty much under control. Now we have the issue is, is unemployment truly going to stay low? Doesn't look like that's going to happen because the number of jobs to open are decreasing, you know? So, yeah. um, and that I was think quite that's a number. Gonna, yeah, Just, yeah, I agree, there. man. That was quite a number. You know, if you're not paying attention to it, folks, a million jobs on a miss. And then, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's going to matter, man, for sure. Um, the dollar yes. index is going to move huge off of this number, I think, on Friday. So and, thir and Thursday, especially, too, I think it's going to really start to spark some volatility. You know, I mean, not like we have don't have that already. <laughs> not, it just keeps going, though. I know what you're saying, sure. man. It's like the next data point is lining up and we got a big one mm -hmm. coming up Friday for sure. Right. Uh, let's jump to the yen if we could for a second, because we have some big action here, you know, for the dollar, the euro, the pound. Maybe we can pull mm -hmm. up after the yen. But the yen, boy, we're just pushing highs even after the intervention, man. So much for that right. pullback. The yen you know, doesn't look like the other charts right now, Teddy. Maybe if you can break down, I know you have talked about to the listeners, but for those that are maybe new to you, new to the segment, mm -hmm. um, when you talk about the yen, because we got a lot of gold traders as well, and that's always sure. a big one out there, um, kind of the difference maybe in the divergence going on for the yen chart that I have pulled up right now that we're pushing that 145 sure. limit again versus what we see in the charts like the euro or the dollar, for instance. 
Right, right. Okay, well, the the year, the, the yen absolutely now. Two weeks ago, you got to remember that was when they did the like the midnight move pretty much, and everything started to spike around. I mean, you made new high new highs and lows in a big way. Now we've been pretty much, you know, we had such a radical spike. We've been absorbing that for the past two weeks. I mean, you've seen a lot of volatility and, and trending um, action in the pound, the euro, and the, and the other currencies. The, the the yen has been very, very tight. I mean, talk about, I mean, it, even I don't know what trader, whether you're directional or range trader, has made any money in the last, like, week and a half trading the yen. Yeah. But that being said, I think that this is just the plateau before it explodes to the upside again, because no intervention by Japan is going to be that significant that's going to counteract what we know our Fed is doing. I think the employment number, especially if if you start to see the 10 year go offer and the 30 year go offer into Thursday and Friday, especially and that meaning where they just kind of spike around, but where they really lay on the offer and push new monthly lows. I think you're going to start to see the U.S. dollar yen start to explode to new highs again, you know, especially with oil going on the way it's going. You know, I mean, you got to realize I mentioned you I heard you talk about the 2020 uh, uh, two or excuse me, 2020 when uh, OPEC pulled back on production. You know what counteracted that? Um, Russia dumped all kinds of oil on the market and oil actually went down. Remember? So but what do we not have this time? Um, we don't have Russia to come to our aid. <laughs> We're blocking Russia, you know. So the oil trade, I think, is going to explode. Remember, I've been saying, watch as we head into the fourth quarter in winter time, what happens with energy prices. I can see oil back above 100 and pushing that 120, you know, area high for sure, easily within the next couple of months. You know, maybe that 150 for Christmas will be what we get. You know, seven, eight dollar gasoline at the pump. And you've talked about just and so the. That helps the dollar immensely, especially versus the Huge. yen, because we are yes. producers of crude, right? Is that how right. that – perfect. The, and and uh, the petrodollar impacts that too, that effect of it. So you have interest rates, oil, and the uh, conversion. And we had a question in the day, and we talked about it. When, what exactly was it? Was that the Bank of Japan intervening? I forget the exact terminology. Or what was that, Teddy? Was it they did, the question in the day was did the Bay, Bank of Japan intervene to support the yen? What, what was it? And I have it up on the chart, you know, with the spike. Mm -hmm. Um, but what was it exactly that they come out and say? Was it their their what was it exactly that happened on that day? Okay, yeah, that's the funny thing is is that everyone's like they intervened. They really didn't intervene. That's, they just put in a bigger stance than they did a couple months ago. Remember when okay. they drew the line in the sand at one thirty? Yes. This is what they did again, but only in a more severe way because okay. when you when you break down everything that they said that they may or may not do, ultimately they're gonna still keep buying their bond market. So there's nothing that they can do. You're not defending your currency if you're defending your bond market okay. it's, an it's a tug of, it's, it's a tug sure. of war that goes nowhere you know so it was a lot of encouraging speak but that's all that was boy it really. got erased on that chart within yeah. two days and then it's just been oh, it was around. a pearl harbor i got nailed that day made, made new highs and crashed me at a seven dollar range that day oh you know, wild crazy. stuff on the charts teddy yeah. i appreciate you taking the time man we look forward to talking to you next week as always have a great Thanks, week Tommy. brother Okay, right, check out the care. Tiger Forex report, folks, at TFNN. We'll be right back.